saw your comments, you guys were asking on my previous YouTube uh, posts that you wanted to see the closet. So first things first, it was done by a company called Alice Lane Interiors. They are based here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. I just moved into this house a year ago, but we were renovating it for about six months before that. It was the last part of my house that needed to be finished and it was the part I was most excited about. Now here's the thing, my closet is not finished. I'm gonna show you what has been done so far. It is not perfect. It's going to be done, hopefully within the next few weeks. Things like, let me give you an example. I have white and black hangers mixed in. No, that's not okay. They're all meant to be black. Nothing is on these shelves yet. Am I embarrassed that they're bare? Yeah, I am. But I will get there eventually. It's a work in progress, but for right now, I love it. The paper was the first thing that got uh, put in, installed. I love it. You can kind of see it's got a metallic sheen every now and then with these stripes, which I think is gorgeous. I think wallpaper feels really nice and warm and it makes me feel like I'm home in my home in England. We use wallpaper a lot. They told me that they wanted to add in the wood that was going to complement the stripes. I love the dark wood. I think it goes with the stripes perfectly. I love this spot. This little knock was created especially for us. I can sit here, I can read, I can work from here and see my beautiful closet. Everywhere in this closet, there is so much space. Like the, the space is utilized so well. For example, this isn't just a bench, it's got drawers underneath. Because this is a, uh, a there's probably a technical term for this, I do not know it, so I'm just gonna say a slanted ceiling. Um, it, there's a lot more space back there that would probably not be used, so they've made sure that I've got super long drawers that go pretty much the whole way out to this to this point. And so a lot of the stuff that I don't need right now, like my winter stuff, I get to store away for the season. There is a load of space back there. I've just dumped stuff for now, but there's a load of space there that I can store stuff on those shelves. So it can continue to look like just a pretty well-organized closet that is simple, but back there there's so much storage. I have my section, which is pretty much all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. And my sweet husband, Rob, he has this section here, those, and this. He's not as crazy about clothes as I am. I just need a lot of space. So this section's his. I store my little bags up here. I love a crossbody. So things like this, I keep over here. And then I keep scarves here too. I keep my hats. You've seen me wear this on the show before. I keep my hats and you've seen me wear this on the show before. So yeah, I keep my hats and stuff all in here. There are so many pieces in here that I love. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. Okay, this episode has not come out yet, but I wore this on an episode in Japan. You will see this very soon. I wore this the first time we ever saw a bill our billboards. It wasn't, it was the 6th of February, 2018. It was just before Qu uh, Queer Eye season one came out. And it was the first time we'd seen the uh, billboards. All of us boys were in New York together. Um, and we saw the billboards for the first time and we all got really emotional and we screamed and it was one of the happiest moments of my life. You might remember this. I wore this in season three in one of my loft locks. This is a shirt that I wore in season three. This is gonna test my queer eye history. This, I believe, is the moment where I say, women of the world, if you see a pair of crop pants or a capri pants, run. I think I was wearing this when I said that. I wear this in Japan. It's one of my favorite coats. I've had it for like uh, three years. I got it in Shanghai. This is one of my favorite pieces ever. I wore this at the GLAAD Awards and I still love it so much. I felt so regal in this. Um, I wore it with a white but not shirt underneath and a black pair of trousers. And it's just this couture piece that was made. I spoke uh, on behalf of the five of us and it felt just amazing. And then later on that night, Beyonce performed at the same event. It was incredible. Incredible. Episode one, season three, we meet Jodie Castellucci and I talk about camo and how she has way too cam much camo. She does not need more camo in her life. That wasn't me saying camo is terrible. That was me saying she had too much camo and there was a way to do camo and there was a way to maybe not do camo. I do have camo in my closet quite a lot, but it's just, I wear it in a way that it doesn't look like I'm trying to hide from the world. And this, I wore for my first appearance on the Today Show and it was the, it was just before the show came out and it was my first live uh, TV segment, national TV segment and I wore this shirt and I love it so much. But then I keep all of my jeans and trousers here. So I've got jeans, I break it up by blue jeans, black jeans, jeans that I don't wear very often and then anything else that is pants that I don't 
really um, that I don't wear too often. It's not as organized as a closet in Queer Eye. I have not had the time, it's gonna be taken care of, don't judge me. These are just some of my shoes that I, I wore this for um, episode three, no, season three, episode one, Jodie Casalucci, when we're doing the reveal and I scream to the boys as she comes out looking incredible. Look at her! Um, these are the sneakers I was wearing uh, for season three. Also, I wore these in, oh my God, I can't even remember. I'm terrible at Queer Eye. These were worn for the Joey episode, where, which was the camp episode. It was where we helped Joey who works as a camp counselor um, and a camp leader. And me and Anthony were twinning in our matching sneakers. These are my favorite boots. Um, I wore these for the Emmys. These are my Louboutins. I wore these to win uh, our Emmys. It's the night that I won, or that we won three Emmys. Uh, and I was wearing these shoes. They are very, very, very special to me. So this is the accessories area. This is also where I keep things like underwear and little knickknacks. This was especially made for us, custom made for us. Um, I love it. It ties in the green uh, cushion that is over in the other side of the closet. This space was designed as a space where we'd actually get dressed and ready. Um, I keep, so Rob's got one side, I've got one side. I keep things like my little knickknacks, which is not arranged yet, but things like watches and brooches and uh, combo bonds. I keep all my belts here. This belt, the now uh, infamous <laughs> um, off-white belt that I wore three or four times uh, during season three, and I love it so much. It was the one where I belted my sweatshirt and it became a bigger thing than I ever expected it could. You never know what's gonna make it big. Apparently that was it. Thank you so much for watching my closet tour. If you uh, like it, just press the button like. Well, no, not that, like that. Don't come for me if I've gotten the wrong episode that I wore these items in. You're, you're much better at that than I am. Subscribe, like, comment, enjoy. Bye.